joke, man. You ruined the YouTube Four. intro. Nothing. Damn it. Ruined. Guys, welcome to Canon Bore Nothing. Yes, that's right. We're not talking about Bore Nothing. I'm pretty sure he chose the right one. Canon Bore Nothing. We didn't go with Bore Nothing. No, that's too simple. Canon Bore Nothing. So you just wait. You just wait. We just started the live stream here at Community Games today, some Battle of Africa, and uh, another nothing map, King of the Hill. Whoa! That's a fancy monument! Does anyone know what monument that is? I don't know, someone will tell us. But yes, we have another nothing map. I can keep track of what's happening, much easier smile. Uh, explain what the boars do? I don't know, we'll have to see. I've actually never seen this in action. Thank you everybody for the subs and resubs. Love you all. Let's get going with the introduction, shall we? Uh, in the green, we have Super Lisco. He's playing as the Celts. Now, he is the, the king of nothing maps, I think. We have Young Panda 95 in the blue playing as Portuguese. In the yellow, we have Koreans for Drewski Norky. In the orange, we then have uh, Felix playing as the Portuguese. Might see some Vitorias later on. Blood Priest, aka Bloody Nival. That's what he's called in the Twitch chat. He is Malians here in the purple. In the red, we have Machlawa playing as the Burmese. In the teal, we have Mongols for Jomanol. And in the gray, we have uh, It's Yoshi, also known as uh, Josiah Yoshi in the Twitch chat, playing as the Chinese. This is not diplomacy. Um, this is just a standard free-for-all. So every man for themselves. And um, this time you do have some gold and some stone, unlike the other nothing maps that we've seen. But you have to chop through a lot of trees, you start in the Dark Age, and then you have to get past the boars, which nobody sees, well, some people do see currently. Uh, it's it's gonna be special. It's gonna be special, chat. Uh, specifically, thank you Smack My Toaster yes. Up for the sub and Young One for two months. Because with your casting, I can keep track of what's happening much easier. That is good, Young One. I will teach you over yes. time as you age. It's the Hassan Tower from the Berbers. Okay. I've been seeing new monuments lately. I like the amount of detail that goes into this. Can we just appreciate this? Look look at this. It's like someone was up here doing some work on the rooftop. It's pretty cool. So something else that needs to be pointed out. We have the Harambes. So um, not only do we have cannon boars, we have the Harambes. Now the sad thing is that the... the the Harambes, aka Furious the Monkey Boys, they might get shot, and it'll be just like real life all over again. Yeah, that's right. You thought it was a dead meme? It's not a dead meme. Harambe is still alive in our hearts. Uh, Furious the Monkey Boy is a 9 HP unit, and uh, you have 99 attack. 99 attack. So, um, you can one-shot these boars. Now, I've never seen this in action. These are iron boars. Normally, Iron Boars just attack you and do a tremendous amount of damage. I've been told that somewhere in this big, fat stomach of these boars, there's cannonballs, and they will shoot cannonballs out, uh, like like Bombard cannons would. So, I don't know. Skip says, you didn't say hi to me, even though yesterday you said you would say hi to those who say hi. Skip, you know everyone's going to say hi now, right? You just put me in a really awkward spot. Uh, Quastato, thank you for the sub. IV Glory, thank you for the sub. Love you guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, I, I haven't been paying attention. Noob caster. Some of these people are, are cleaning up the boars. I guess with the monkey boys, they're, they're able to do that. Oh, man. All the hellos. You had me at hello. I guess... Um, Orange could, could journey, take a journey up here. Felix could journey up here with the Furious the Monkey Boy and, and show us the cannonball action. But yeah, typical of Forest Nothing Maps, it's going to take some time. So what does chat think about the sieves? What does chat think about the sieves? I feel like Celts is always the best pick because you can sell that wood, but this is a little bit different. You do have gold and stone this time. Uh, that was not the case in the, with the other Nothing Maps. Trying to keep an eye on where these monkey boys might go. I'm sorry, Harambe's. But he hasn't gone up here yet. I'm keeping an eye on Felix. Hey, pointy boy. What's up, Firebasher? Now, everyone's pissed off because I said hello to Firebasher, and <laughs> that was it. I couldn't keep up with chat. I'm sorry, but welcome, everybody. I'll say hello to you collectively as a whole. 
It's technically not a nothing map with other resources, right? Well, it is what you want it to be, my friends. It is what you want it to be. Monkey Bois nothing hashtag hype. Monkey Bois. Thank you, human, again for the, the tip. Appreciate it, man. So I guess you can do a standard fast castle here. You, you've no reason to sell when you have these golds. It seems like Machlawa is going with a standard nothing build. Advancing to feudal fast and then is planning on selling. Uh, I guess your build order will be thrown off a bit because you can't collect boars. Or deer. Or sheep. You have to start with a lot of farms. Uh, slabs would be a, a pretty good pick here. Uh, seeing as they farm faster, but nobody has picked slabs. Okay, here we go. It's a, it's a three shot. A monkey boy can three shot these iron boars. And they're not shooting cannonballs. I've been lied to. Pretty sure they're supposed to, to shoot cannonballs. It's called cannon boar. Maybe certain ones. We shall see. We shall see. I, I see... Uh, we're clicking these things, and they all have the same amount of HP, same amount of stats, and they're all ca called uh, Iron Boars. It could have something to do with the fact that the boars don't see the monkeys as a threat. Yeah, so I, I guess if you micro your monkey, <laughs> if you use Harambe as he would have been used had, if Hillary wouldn't have killed him, then uh, <clears throat> you'll be okay here with the cannonballs later on, but... Just like Wolf Nothing, just like Tiger Woods, just like all these crazy maps we've played, uh, it's oftentimes impossible to keep an eye on everything. And Jay Cover, welcome. Thank you for the Prime. So you can see on the top right, people are advancing through the next stages. Uh, Young Panda, he's going with the two mining camp strategy because, hey, two is better than one, am I right? Interesting, interesting. I think Celts, Koreans can be strong here. I think Portuguese was chosen for the Fitoria choice. Um, now, in the player's defense, they never played this either. Maybe Lisco heard about it. I'm thinking they chose Portuguese because they wanted to build Fitorias, which will slowly give them a trickle of resources. Uh, thinking that there wouldn't be gold and stone on this map. It's, it's definitely different. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Boscaria says, hello again. Was wondering if Goths, Vils do more damage to Iron Boars as well. I do not believe so. That's a, a very interesting point, but I do not believe so. Has the Vittoria ever worked on a nothing map? No, I, I don't think the Vittoria is worth it on a nothing map because you collect so much wood. Just com compare the Fatoria trickle of resources to Super Lisco when he booms up to 200 vills and sells all of his resources. He gets so much more. Um, plus, you can be at 200 pop. You cannot be at 200 pop with Fatoria because it takes the population space. I'm not a fan of this strategy. But hey, I'm, I'm no pro. I'm no pro. I'm just a caster. I watch you guys deal with this madness to develop the new metagame. Uh, Mr. Potato Bro, thank you. Quasto, thank you for the 500 bits. Awesome stuff. So, uh, chat, I, I know I couldn't say hello to 100 of you at once, but if you have any questions or any points, now is the time to bring it up. Because they're going to be booming up towards the action. The ultimate goal here is to control this monument, take the countdown from what will be 550 years, which starts when someone gets here, down to zero. So plenty of time to see boars shoot those cannonballs, and uh, plenty of time to think about strategy. What do you think about all Aztec free for all? Could be fun with all the counters they have. I'm not a big fan of doing all of the same sieve. Uh, just because of the fairness, I get that, Simon, but I prefer to let players pick. I mean, if it was a nothing map, imagine gold nothing with Aztecs. It would just be full monks. <laughs> that would be absolute cancer. <laughs> What's on top of the monument? I don't know. I, I wish I could zoom in a little bit. Looks like we got a, maybe this is a bench and someone has left their uh, bag of cocaine on the bench and the other bags of cocaine have fallen off. Hey, I don't know. I don't think cocaine was around back then, but it's a white powder or a rock. And who puts a rock on a bench? Am I right? We got these little mats. It's not symmetrical. That's bothering me. We got some barrels. Maybe 
We got some, uh, maybe it's flour. Maybe there was leftover flour and they put it in the bags. I don't know. What do you think that is? I wish you could garrison units in these buildings, though, and just, like, have them pop up to the top like you could in Stronghold. It'd be interesting. Uh, Teal says, fuck boars. So, um... Oh! <laughs> here we go! It, it seems like he's been shot! They're, they have long range, so it's, it's really difficult to kill them. Unless you cut through to kill them. That, that'll be the, the complicated thing. You have monkey boys, but you have to actually chop through the trees, and the boars can shoot over the trees. Huh. Oh! <laughs> I haven't seen one shoot yet, unfortunately. Let's see if we can catch someone chopping through. Huh. This is not real forest nothing. Real forest nothing is only trees and no gold and no stone. Next game should be real forest nothing. You know what? I didn't even have to look. I knew it was Nivida. Like immediately. If anyone <laughs> if anyone's upset Oh, there's the cannonball! Nice! If anyone's upset about the settings on nothing maps, it would be Nivida A28. <laughs> Thank you again. Now, so I'm trying to determine the range on these boars. Um certainly is not a boring start to this, if you get what I'm saying. Can we get fat slob on stone? Nothing. Well, the, the interesting thing about fat slob is he does his own thing. Next. We can't make Game. him do anything. Forest. He lives Nothing. his life. Next. Game. Forest. Nothing. Okay. Next. And this one, I haven't looked. Forest. I know it's A28. Next. Whoa! Whoa! Forest. Whoa! Nothing. Watch Next. out for the boars! Game. Forest. Nothing. Next. I think it's about two Game. or three range. Forest. Nothing. Jominal's not happy. Game. Where's his monkey boy at? Nothing. Use your monkey boy, Jominal. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my Nothing. word! Forest. Look at this! Jominal, use your monkey, Nothing. dude! This is what Harambe's for! Look at these boars! Look at that! Yeah, get wrecked, woman! Use your monkey! Why is Jominal against using monkeys? No! Dude! It's an iron boar! I mean, Jominal might be pissed off, but he'll be pissed off at himself later on when he has a monkey with 99 attack, he's not using it. See, the sad thing is, this is just like real life. Harambe was not appreciated. Oh! Goodness gracious, can we get the T90 throws in the chat for this? The monkey's right there, bro. Your monkey's right there. So, what you have to do is you have to chop through the trees so you can access the, the boars, but... I guess if they end up coming into your base like this, you can just use your uh, use your monkeys anyhow. So this is kind of unnecessary from Jominal. He's he's losing Jominal as villagers. Uh, like, how many more is he gonna lose to this? There we go. This is fine. This is fine, chat. Everything's okay. I overreacted. It's fine. He's he's twenty six pop. He's looking good. He has less population than minutes played, but that's fine. It's fine. So, uh, the strategy that Super Lisco always uses is the best strat in my opinion. And that is to simply boom, boom, boom! Oh no. <laughs> See those boars get, got stuck. Too many Big Macs. Next game, nothing, nothing, next game, nothing, nothing, next game, nothing, nothing, next game, nothing, next game, nothing, Vault Dweller, next game, nothing, nothing, nothing. thank you for the bits, man. Highly appreciated. Uh, of course, everybody, thank you for coming in today with the with the subs and whatnot to start off the hype. Uh, uh, what, what I was saying is that Super Lisco likes to boom and then sell. Uh, that's why he uses Celts, uh, both because he chops wood faster and because he has really strong technologies later. I feel like we should ban Celts in the future, just because this is by far the best pick, in my opinion. Um, but anywho, we actually have Young Panda in the Imperial Age, which means he can make Onager and start chopping through these trees. Can you heal Harambe? Well, if this is anything like real life, he cannot be healed. Uh, however, I'm not sure. 
I can only assume that Jominal hasn't really realized that this guy exists because he has 35 deaths. <laughs> 35 deaths. He did say I'm totally fine in the chat. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! Use your monkeys! Did he lose his monkey boy? How did he lose his monkey boy? Look at the destruction here from these cannon boars. Yeah, that's not gonna work, man. That's not gonna work. You have monkeys for a reason. Um, I, I didn't know- yeah, it's right there. I guess he lost some HP. Don't know how that is, but, um... If they were using their monkey boys, I think that it'd be a minor inconvenience, but... They're not. I noticed Super Lisco already has lost some HP here as well, so... It's hard for me to keep an eye on everything. Uh, it doesn't look like the boars are attacking. Maybe he used a Magnell and, and damaged his monkey boy. Woo! Corrupt politics. This is not iron bore nothing. This is cannon bore nothing. Cannon bore nothing. So if you're just getting here, we have 500 people here and we had 200 about 20 minutes ago. Uh, these are iron bores, so they, they're very strong, but they shoot cannonballs. You, you start with Harambe, and Harambe has 99 attacks, so it takes take two shots to finish off the boar. The boars do not attack your Harambe's either. Um, some people have forgotten they the Harambe's exist. Like here, Jominal has actually moved his monkey, but he's still using his TC first. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they don't know that the, uh, that the monkeys don't get attacked. Let's get the... The feels in the chat for, for Harambe. He died too soon. The monkey boys could have lost HP when a vill came closer. So when the boar shot at the vill, they also hit the monkey boy. That's true with the with the splash. Jomonal says they shot my tower and killed it before it was finished. <laughs> that's true, that's true. The splash damage could have done it. See, if this this is not necessary. And these boars are freaking out. I guess they don't attack Maganels either. But we do community games for the madness, right? We, we don't do it because we like pretty games. No, not at all. No offense to you guys. Don't hate me for saying that. But we do it for the wacky stuff, right? Imperial Age. In for Super Lisco. He's getting guilds. He will sell. Huge villager boom. Same with uh, Yoshi. He has 122 vills. He's not on his way to Imp. Match Lala and Blood Priest on the way to the Imperial Age. The good thing about this is even though it's a struggle, these villagers getting shot down. We got a, like, Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. there. Um, now even though it's a struggle, you have time because the goal is to take the monument down to zero and that countdown hasn't even started yet. Yeah, just, just keep using your bills, guys. Keep using your bills. It works works out well. It's so annoying. You know, you get this many villagers, and you're bound to run into boars, right? So you're you're adding bills nonstop, but it's hard to pay attention to these boars because they have range. I still think Yoshi should be using his monkey boy. Because he's getting wrecked. And there seems to be a decent amount of splash. You can see the house has received damage. Oh my goodness, not like this, no! Yoshi, use your Harambe's! Good lord! Oh, it's a massacre! It is an absolute massacre! It does not have to be this way! Maybe Yoshi's just extremely confident in, in his abilities. Maybe he was popcapped, didn't want to build any more houses, so figured he would throw away some bills. Come on, at what point do you stop this? Grab the monkey and send it over here and start smacking the thing. Here we go. I think this splash theory is correct because that monkey just lost 2 HP of its 9 HP. You, use your monkeys, Yoshi. Use your monkeys. Yoshi might not be a big fan of, uh, of Donkey Kong. I, I don't know why he's opposed to doing that. The way to win is not cut out of your base at all. Dit style. Maybe, maybe, Harry. Is there a metagame to this? I don't know. Now, someone asked earlier if the monkeys can be healed. I see one monk here from Lisco. Uh, maybe he was testing that theory. It's currently on 5 HP. We'll look back at that. Because there is gold and stone on this map, 
it has taken time but most people are inching their way towards the imperial age and we're gonna get to see some huge engagements before you know it <clears throat> uh, onager is all that's needed to cut through the trees match Lao is already starting Dracont, welcome to the stream. Who else we got? Uh, J Red, Airbud, Kino, Parody, Comet, Oki Van. Good to have you guys here. So, with gold, Portuguese could be pretty strong here. Um, I mean, if they could build a castle, which they can, get Arbacus, which gives their gunpowder uh, ballistics, maybe, just maybe. You could do damage with the Bombard Cannons. I still feel like a Siege Ram Siege Onager Civ destroys that. Unless you have perfect Dracont like Micro. Um, Dracont is not in this game. He's in the Twitch chat. Guardian. Welcome. Shalker, what's up? <laughs> Shalker, we don't welcome you anymore. You're a mod. You're not important, Kappa. Blood Priest is getting banking. I assume they can't send res to each other. No, they cannot send res to each other. They're going to have plenty of resources, though. So we have Celts with their Siege, Burmese with their Siege, Elephants, and with their Arambai, a Portuguese with their Gunpowder, Chinese, they can do anything. Absolutely anything. Malians get strong Siege, is what we're looking at here with Purple. Uh, Koreans get strong Siege. Uh, Mongols as well. Mongols can actually build castles and go Mangadai. So Jomanal, even though he struggled with those boars, he can go Mangadai. So there are options. Plenty of options. Now, who, <laughs> who has fared the worst here? We have zero kills, 47 deaths for Yoshi. And um, it's going to get worse for Jominal as well. He's catching up. He's at 42 deaths. It's fine, though. It's fine. He's building a castle. He's not worried. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Is the castle going to get denied by boars? I think the boars might be trying to go for one of the farmers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the only time you'll ever see this. We have boars denying a castle. So we have a, a doubt castle <laughs> because of these boars. Now, uh, for those that are, are curious of what's happening, again, this monkey boy has 99 attack and it takes two shots to kill the iron boars. A uh, Jominal, he can't get through. There's, there's not a space for him to get through. Okay, I guess he can run this way. Oh, he's quick walled them. Good lord, man. Like, he has to be careful because the, the cannonballs do splash damage. So his monkey, like, it's on 3 HP. He cannot stand close to villagers. Because if he does, he could lose this monkey, which he so badly needs. This is just complete destruction. Oh, I should feel bad. But I'm not going to lie. I think this is kind of funny. I think this is kind of funny. Uh, J JR Worthy with the bits. Says no more weekends off. I had nothing to do Saturday or Sunday. Well, this weekend I'll be around, man. This, Next game this weekend nothing. I will be around. Next game forest nothing. Next game forest nothing. Nivita wants his forest, forest nothing. nothing. Next game forest now, nothing. Next game uh, forest uh -oh. nothing. Uh-oh. Oh no, the monkey stole! He's screwed! Next game forest no! nothing. No! Next game His monkey has nothing. died because of the splash. Oh, I, I feel bad for Jomano at the same time. It could have been so easy to kill them early on. Like, let's go. He's, he's really shown us how to do this, right? He, he always does. Uh, we have towers. Uh, Korean towers from Drewski. Uh, let's throw some tears in the chat for Jomano because it is going to be a very tough battle for him. Next. So, uh, this is the very first time we've done nothing. this map. Next. And uh, people forest. want their standard nothing. forest nothing, which we will Next. give them later. Uh, thank you, A28 nothing. and Nivita, Next. for the forest Game. nothing spam. Forest. Thank you, chat, for the trees. Nothing. Next. Game. Good stuff. Forest. Nothing. Next. Game. Match Lao is getting there. Nothing. We're almost Next. at the middle, chat. We're almost nothing. there. Next. Game. Let's go. Ah! Next. Watch out! Game. Forest. Harry! Next. Harry! Game. Harry! Forest. He's Nothing. dead. On the plus side, onagers don't get aggroed by the boars, so... <clears throat> onagers can, can do a decent job if you get enough of them. Uh, plush Werewolf, thank you for gifting the sub to uh, Alime Fenin. Uh, how many subs are we at, by the way? I, I think we're under 
300, 200 away from the 24 hour stream goal. Now finally people are building up their military numbers, so the Boris will, will put, have less of an impact unless you're Joe Manal, and I, I just feel bad for Joe Manal. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. I feel bad for the guy. This is not good. <laughs> At least he's walled here. <laughs> At least he is walled. Next game stone nothing with fat slob. Yeah, so we are what 291 subs away from the next 24 hour stream. That's sweet. That's sweet. A Gilber stone nothing with fat slob. Uh, I, I struggle even getting fat slob to respond to my messages. He's he kind of like I said, does his own thing. Lola Verzio, thank you for eight months, man. Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are, are doing well. Um. Just another update again, we'll be doing Battle of Africa in a couple hours, and then we'll resume with community games, so we'll be streaming pretty much all day like we do on Thursdays, and the same tomorrow we'll have a very late stream, very long stream. Good God! Look away! I have my hand over my eyes, I can't look at this. I'll still cast, but I, I can't watch any longer. This is awful. Oh my goodness, did he attack with 15 bills here? Oh no! Oh, I feel so bad for him. I mean, again, it's fine. He's at 140 pop. He's only lost 115, 120 villagers. <laughs> oh, I, I almost don't want to watch this any longer because I feel so bad. Uh, Ain Alf says, just got to the stream. What is this? So this is cannon bore nothing, man. And uh, you start with monkey boys. And monkey boys can, can kill these bad boys, but... Uh, Jominal, he didn't use his monkey properly. Let's go. Things are very nice for him. He is Siege Onager. Lisko's only taken 15 losses. Yellow, believe it or not, has not taken any losses at all. And cutting with Siege Onagers. And oh, an attacking Felix here. I saw Felix got Arbicus earlier and could go for Bombard Cannons and Orcan Guns. Interesting that people are attacking each other. Now, this is all quite good for, uh, for Match Lawa. Blood Priest looks incredibly strong, but Jominal is not doing too hot, so this will help Match Lawa because he's so close. Hey, dude! Well, th this answers the, the question everybody had. Which wins? A beefed up elephant or an iron boar with a machine gun? Seems like it's fairly even. <laughs> Again, this is just a complete massacre. Oh my word. Look at this. These elephants, they have almost full upgrades. 320 HP. And the boars are finishing them off. Good lord. So, uh, look at the deaths on the overlay. Over 200 deaths to just these boars. Have you thought of doing the uh, triple tech mod? Yeah, Torque. I think we'll do that later on today. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. And thank goodness, everybody type Yoshi Park Champ in the chat because Yoshi has started that countdown. That's what we wanted. So after all of this, one hour game time in, fast speed, mind you, but still quite a long time. That countdown starts at 550 years and the action will start to unfold. Jominal, he's still Mongols. Jominal still will have resources. Sure, it wasn't pretty for him. He's probably going to want to forget uh, what has gone down here. It's going to be hard with all the dead bodies tripping over bones of your family members. What a life! What a life! But uh, maybe he can he can get back over here. <clears throat> Super Lisco getting arrow slits, which I find to be incredibly interesting because that affects towers and he doesn't have any. And uh, the the fight between yellow and orange has kind of slowed down. Don't see much action. Holy organ guns, though. Organ guns are technically siege units, right? So for this reason alone, I, I think that the organ guns are a brilliant choice, uh, at least to clean up the boars. <clears throat> now, uh, don't tell me. Does Blood Priest see this? He's trying to cut this way. Eight range versus eight range. These siege monitors, they can destroy these organ guns. <laughs> Seems like he's just trying to make his way to the middle, so... 
he might run into orange <clears throat> is your version of triple tech affecting unique tech or not uh, i'm not sure I, I haven't done it in a couple years i didn't really think there'd be a lot of interest in it i think we'll do a community game with later uh, there's a there's a voobly one i don't know if you can stack that with world of little kingdoms maybe someone can can check that a uh, pay up bro says how long do you have to hold the monument so this is the way it works <clears throat> um sorry i have something in my throat currently let's say red takes control of the monument it continues to count down until it hits 100 when it's below 100 years and it switches hands it goes back up to 100 does that make sense so you have to hold it from 100 down to zero if you lose it at one year someone can't come in on that last year and steal the victory they come in they steal it from you and it goes back up to 100 with a new countdown so for now the the countdown is not really a huge talking point works with hd so you probably can't well uh that's that's a good point it's a good point we'll probably do boobly for something like that uh, just because of like if you haven't noticed i don't do hd for the maps with tons of moving parts i've had too many bad experiences where there's drops so <clears throat> if somebody could test that with uh with the expansions that'd be pretty sick um just so i know going into that later on how about t90 babe nothing Oh, we need to make a, a feminist nothing map. Oh, it'd be so good. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. I, I have some pretty funny ideas that might trigger people. Like, I'm of course joking, but some people, there's always that one person which, which doesn't get it. Can you imagine where like, make feminist nothing and the, the females collect more resources than the males? And the males are on uh, berry duty. <laughs> oh my goodness! Max Lala! I don't know if he has a monkey anymore. He, he's been he's being pushed back by boars. He's being pushed back by boars. Oh my word! The destruction! These elephants are so strong as well. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous that's what you guys wanted though right so i do notice that there's a lot of boars a drewski will have to run through there's a lot of boars that uh, orange will have to run through and then blood priest as well now it seems like blood priest has encountered phylic here uh, at least he sees the cannonballs now pretty sure these like are all gonna die i mean i know it's malian like kev and they have farimba so seven plus seven attack I'm pretty sure that these are going to get completely wrecked when they get close. Look where Teal's onagers are and all the skeletons in front of it. Oh, did he just kill his own scorpions? He must have. This is just craziness. We do have Berry Nothing we're going to break out later on. <clears throat> Every week I'm going to try and get a new Nothing map for you. 420 years. We are getting there. Uh, as I toggle through the players, rip this dude. As I toggle through the players, everyone has lots of resources. Even poor Jominal here. So I guess he's using scorpions so he can damage multiple boars at once. Uh, does it even work that way with boars? Uh, it does. Might be a little bit easier to control as well. Holy cow! Blood Priest is pushing towards Phylic. I don't know what people uh, have against Phylic. He's been pressured twice now. Phylic saying wrecked. Yeah, he's gonna get wrecked here. Look how many Mali and Siege Onagers are here. Oh my goodness. And they're all gonna get flattened. These, these organ guns. Uh, you better start playing the organ at your funeral because that's a disaster. I just don't think Portuguese will offer too much. Like I said, Siege Onager is generally gonna be better here. And um, I feel bad for Phylic. I do. He has Fatoria, so he's gone for the Fatoria strat. That's interesting. But it doesn't matter how many resources he has in the bank if he loses all of his buildings, right? If he tries to chop through, cut through, and run away, he's just going to run into boars as well, which is the funny thing. Now, Blood Priest, he continues to attack like, these buildings, and he's friendly fired so many of his units. We'll see if he continues to send the pressure this way. Uh, elsewhere, I see Lisko. He's... Not attacking anyone. Um, Red seems to have still been dealing with those boars. 
Wouldn't be an awful. Oh. <laughs> Blood Priest is like, I got this. I got this. <laughs> It wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe send some monks with your elephants or, or whatever unit just so you heal them as they get attacked. I don't know if they would heal that fast, but this is this is funny. Maybe that was intentional from Blood Priest. Maybe he wanted to bring the boars towards red. I'm not so sure, but he's just lost all of these units. Does anyone have a positive kill death ratio? No. In fact, a young panda has no kills. Um, Yoshi has no kills and 138 deaths. Drewski still hasn't lost a unit. So credit to Drewski. Be like Drewski. Panda is getting wrecked. Is he getting wrecked? Uh, I forgot what color young panda is, sorry. Um, getting wrecked by boars probably. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, you're right. He's been taking some losses. He is also Portuguese. So that's what? Five Bombard Cannons. You need three volleys from five Bombard Cannons to kill the boars, if this is an example. Wild! Wild. Should make farm nothing. Oh, there's going to be more nothing maps. You just need to show up every week for community games and keep an eye on YouTube. There's going to be... Like, we are going to beat nothing maps to death until you all hate it. No. If that will ever happen. <laughs> So, Blood Priest says 2v1 and King of the Hill. Now, I find this kind of interesting because he just attacked Orange before he was being attacked by Red, and now he seems a bit salty he's being attacked. Now, that seems a little bit backwards. If you get attacked by Red and then you push on to Orange, then I can get your complaint because you weren't the one to start it. But you started it, man. You started it. But maybe he's trying to mind game a little bit. His salt certainly would... Uh, Make me feel bad if I'm Match Lawa, but Match that was like, he's no match for me. And <laughs> these elephants are going to be incredibly strong. Burmese elephants, one of their many strong units, they're going to destroy Malians. Blood Priest is just going to uh, cry about it a little bit, try and just, just hope that Red won't attack him. Now, I think the strategy here, the concept here, is to make sure you're not bumping into someone as you go for the middle later on. So that's why Blood Priest did it, and that's why Match Lawa is doing this. Super Lisco is the kind of guy who, who doesn't like to overcommit and waste resources, so he's not doing that. Uh, Yoshi, as Chinese, is sending forward the siege units currently. And you know what? This is a brilliant idea. I'm pretty sure he, he has garrisoned his Chukunus. This is, this is next level! I didn't even think about this. He knows that if he runs through the boars, that, that he will get attacked, right? So he's garrisoned his rams. That's next level thinking. I, I love that from Yoshi. Let's go. Creative thinking there. So he has Chukunus in every single siege ram here. And he's sending them in one at a time. This is great. This is great. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Scorpions and siege onagers up against these elephants. It's a lot of scorpions. That is a lot of scorpions, but I think the elephants are still going to tank here. They just need to get in close and then destroy everything. Crazy, crazy stuff. Now, Yellow finally takes some losses to the boars, working his way in with the Siege Onagers. He's very close to getting to the middle. As much as I like Yoshi's strategy, I, um, I don't see him surviving with these units. Still has more resources, though. I'd say the strongest player currently has to be Match Lawa. At least how this is playing out, he looks incredibly strong. I think you would need to have Elite Mangadai and all this siege to deal with these elephants. With these settings, elephant sieves are probably the strongest if you can get to these numbers. Now the issue is... Uh, they're just expensive. And as you can see, that does not matter here. Maxlala, he bullied Blood Priest. Blood Priest walling up. And uh, he's been... He's been let go here, and of course he's going to continue to attack Phylic. Phylic gets no peace, only he gets peace. <laughs> and uh, Match Slow has just gone the other way. Well, Super List goes at 192 bills, guys. You can see at the top left he's selling resources, so he has no interest in attacking. He just wants to make sure he won't run out of resources by selling that wood. Alisco does this every time. 
Uh, the only way to stop him from doing that is to attack him. The young Panda, well, he's currently getting attacked by Boris, and uh, he's, he's not showing any signs of an attack. Yoshi obviously just focusing on the middle. But this push, these are elite Magneti. They are lacking a few upgrades in defense. This push is just something else. Poor Jominal. Guys, he has 92 kills, 250 losses. Insane losses for him. A Phylic as well on the other side. I mean, he's being picked on by the boars. And, oh, he's, he's zero pop. The poor guy's dead. I feel bad for Phylic. He went for a strat. Blood Priest says I need a new base. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get the tears flowing for Phylic. Phylic, that was a cruel death, man. I feel bad for you, but you know how people, how seriously people take these community games. Um, I think Jominal will meet the same fate. I think he will also get destroyed. There's just too much population here from Match Lala, and the elephants are too strong. Someone said, go to Lisko's point of view. I'm guessing he has 18k gold. Okay, I undershot a little bit. 30k, not bad. <laughs> not bad. And he's trying to clear a large path so you can spam to the middle. Now, guys, I like Yoshi a lot. I like his strat a lot. What I don't like is his Civ versus Celts and Super Lisko. And hope you have your, your T90 Rex copied and pasted. Or copied, anyway. And get ready to paste them because that's a lot of Chukunu. That's a lot of Chukunu. And we have Celt Siege waiting for him. Jominal. <laughs> I love it. Jomaral's like, you will not get these resources. I'm going to fortify, research fortified wall and, and wall them up before I uh, resign here. Well, very aggressive approach from Match Lala. Let's see his resources because he's doing well. See, he has 5k gold, which is still good. Um, you know, the, the risk is you'll run out of resources, but he can take this gold and of course he can sell that wood. So it's fine. It's fine. Oh! We have keeps and bombard towers from um, from yellow, and the crazy thing is, is that these keeps will have the same range as the bombard towers blue is sending this way. Woo! Jominal said I was salty. You just had to use your monkey, man. You had to use your monkey. You, you lost almost a hundred pop without using the monkey. I understand it though. <clears throat> the issue is that you guys didn't know what was coming, right? Um, so there's no meta to this yet. And many of you, a couple players didn't realize the monkey existed, so they took big losses. If it makes you feel any better, Jominal, other people have gotten destroyed as well. So I think Lisko has got to be favored here. Uh, Yoshi, though, look at this! Sending in a few light cav, he's killing these siege onagers. Nice stuff. Um, I still think the coolest strat so far of this game has been... Uh, garrisoning the Chukunus in the ramps so the boars don't attack them. And instead of killing the boars, he's just like, running right past. And look at this micro! Look at this micro! Incredible! Ingenious idea! Kill the siege workshops now. Use the light cab on the SO. Oh, there's spears in there. <laughs> this is great! Is this Viper or is this Yoshi? I really can't tell because this micro is exceptional. Spears are, are not going to live a healthy life here, I can tell you that much. 160 years, guys. We know that Match Lala is strong. We know that Lisko has the resources. So he's at 179 vills. He's probably going to start deleting these villagers soon. So he can have room for military. Uh, yellow is dangerously close to the middle. Blue, he can't get a path. That's his problem. He has to fight yellow to get to the middle comfortably. Uh, or Lisko. <clears throat> Blood Priest is still alive in this game, believe it or not, and does also have resources. So we have Yoshi, Blood Priest, Machlawa, uh, Drewski, Yoshi, Super Lisko, Young Panda. Six players left in the very first uh, Cannon Bore Nothing. <laughs> oh, the micro! The micro! This is funny. Yeah, we had the pointy boys. You guys are right. These pointy boys have no upgrades, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what wins. 10 siege onagers or endless pointy boys. Here's the food and wood. I'd go with endless pointy boys. Did Orange resign? Uh, he actually got defeated, Jacob. 
actually got defeated. So you notice how silent things are. This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> I love these rams. I can't get over it, man. Because look. These, uh, these rams will die. The Chukunu will pop out. But I just think it's hilarious how many boars are attacking the elephants. Now the Chukunus are like, surprise! Gonna keep this PG for now. But you know where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, these elephants are still too strong. So I, I think the Chukunu will die. But Yoshi is one in my heart. Yoshi has one in my heart. Now, uh, here come the light calf. And now here comes Lisko. He's at 146 bills. He's deleting pop, guys. And he could make 200 population full siege. No problem. No problem. And you need to push sooner rather than later. You say what you want about Lisko and how he wins these games consistently, but he's the one person who always goes to the middle early. He plays this incredibly safe. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be... I'm never gonna lure boars after this because that noise is just so annoying. Uh, the iron boars getting so many kills here. Now, does anyone know the hotkey uh, for switching to the AI or, or switching to Gaia? I think it's control shift down or something. Does anyone remember that? Because I'll go to the boars point of view for a second if you'd like. It is possible with user patch on Boobly. Oh boy. Well, that's at 93 years. Lisko is going to destroy everything. I don't care how many elephants you have. If Lisko can use the choke points, like I think he should leave a small gap for the elephants to funnel through. Control shift F9. Okay, let's do that real quick. Yeah, we're on the boar's point of view. <laughs> we are on the boar's point of view. Let's go. <laughs> Too bad I, you know, uh, Trirem was saying the other night, I'll switch back to a player. Trirem was saying the other night that in the campaigns, you can switch to the, uh, to the computer's point of view. And I'm thinking about playing a couple campaigns backwards, like being the enemy. Be interesting. These SOs. Now, the problem here is that if one elephant gets close, that happens. Friendly fire happens. But as long as Lisko pays attention, I give him a good shot at cleaning this up. Now you see more population running forward from red. He's, he's doing well versus yellow, but can he hold the middle? Oh, the destruction's gonna be real. The elephants are pretty fast. They're getting in close here. Like this elephant is gonna cause so much damage. Oh my goodness. Now keep in mind that others have yet to push towards the middle. Blue is coming, but he's gonna run right into yellow and red as they fight. Can Lisko take control of the middle with the resources he has? Probably would be a good idea to go with Halps, but I think he wants full siege units to avoid these pesky boars. Uh, Yoshi also still trying to get in here. At least I think so, anyway. Green and gray always run into each other, and it, it messes with my eyesight. Oh, he even got a petard! Let's go! Max Law is sending in a petard! He's very close to losing the middle, though. He's very close to losing the middle. The Hussar is spamming. You just need one unit in the middle at all times to control this. There's there's four currently. And Red sending these elephants this way. I think Lisko will be able to do this. Yeah, look at those scorpions and siege monitors going. Now, now Lisko has the middle. Now who will kill him? Who will kill him? Blue? Don't think so. He's going to run into yellow. Yellow just lost so, man, so much of his siege to the attack from Red. Uh, gray, he's having trouble getting through with so much siege there. Blood Priest, uh, he's... Oh, he's still working on cutting a path to the middle. This is a bit late. Things are looking very good for Lisko. Very, very good for Lisko. And this is why I think you need Siege Onagers, because if there were counter Siege Onagers, it could flatten these Scorpions and SOs. Going with non-Siege Onager Sips just doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, Simon, no, there's no Elite Petards. That's a separate mod. Would be pretty cool to see on King of the Hill again, though. Because we saw in Regicide games recently. Blood Priest. Doesn't really have the time, does he? See, he wants to send through the Light Cavern Champions. Light Cav would work pretty well. But he has to kill the boars first. So I don't think he has the time to get here. And Lisko, he's at 120 military. He probably has endless resources still, yep. 
Like, he makes it look pretty simple, doesn't he? This is why I need to choose Celts every time for King of the Hill uh, Force Nothing. <laughs> and oh, he's gonna start placing those fortified walls. Lots of fortified walls. Heavy Scorpions have plus 8 bonus versus War Elephants. Yeah, they do really well, um, especially in these numbers. Just <laughs> Young Panda's like, hold my beer. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> he didn't kill one single unit there. Blood Priest is trying. He says, don't let Liska win again, please. Can they dislodge him, though? I don't think so. It read he lost all of his numbers. Lisko has 129 military units and it's pretty much all siege. Maybe 20 hussars mixed in here, but that's it. Kelt siege, more HP, adding the walls. Yellow only has halves. Uh, gray has been trying to get through. Ram train, let's go, ram train. <laughs> I mean, this is the time when you need to just accept it. Accept that you're gonna lose units, right? He's trying, he's trying to get through. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, not the Chukonu! Yoshi is still one of the MVPs in my book for that strategy earlier, but this could be so devastating. Yoshi has 130 military, he's trying to get to the middle. The Blood Priest has, has just shown up here, you can see he cut through. The Halbs are walled out? They will get wrecked by the SO, just look at the destruction! And these Chukonu, oh goodness no! <laughs> no! Not like this! Oh, uh, there's no way you can beat Lisko now. There's just no way. Like, my PC is kind of freezing up. I imagine it is for the players. This is why we won't do it on HD. Because the game would have certainly dropped by now. 20 years remaining. And I don't think there is a chance to dislodge Lisko. Lisko is the, the nothing champion. Seriously, every time he plays, he wins. Look at his KD, 500, 600 kills soon. Young Panda coming in to try, Yellow coming in to try, just getting destroyed. This was a perfectly executed plan from Lisko. And oh, <laughs> oh my word, let's go. At the very least, we're gonna get to see all these units massacred. He's, he's almost above 700 kills. Look at that. That's crazy. That is crazy. I love it. He went from uh, 550 kills to 740 kills in a minute. No exaggerations there. And one year remaining and Lisko is going to have it. Lisko is going to have it. Boom. So Super Lisko wins again. Uh, this is a new map. It's crazy. Uh, it's called Cannonborn Nothing. We will do more of this in the future. I feel like Celts needs to be banned in the future. Like, what's your thoughts, stream? Banning Celts, maybe? In reality, we probably need to nerf Super Lisko. Like, we need to like, chop off one of his arms so he can only use one hand or something. But uh, the reason he's able to do so well is because Celts is the best Civ for this. Uh, you get the higher HP Siege. Then you chop wood faster, you can sell. So I think it's a no-brainer to choose Celts if you want to win. Uh, it makes more sense to chop off his arm. Okay, we'll do that instead. <laughs> we'll do that instead. Make them all Vikings. I just want to. I, I just want to uh, have more options for successful civs. I guess without Celts, you have Malians, you have Koreans, uh, other siege civs, maybe like Slavs, right? I think Celts is is strong both with their siege HP and also with how fast they chop the wood. Uh, Market Man says, do I need World of Little Kingdoms mod to play community games on Voobly? You don't need it, but you have to pay attention when we set up the next game. Because we, we, like, you're going to need it for the next game, but in the future, later on today, you won't. That makes sense. So we mix it up. I know that some people, a lot of people have HD, right? You get the thanks HDs in the chat for HD. Um, and then some people have Voobly, and some people who have Voobly don't have this, this World of Little Kingdoms mod. So I will probably do the next one with World of Little Kingdoms. Then after that, we'll do some without it. We'll, we'll mix in the community games mod with the elite petards and all that stuff. And then uh, later on, we'll do Battle of Africa. And then we will do HD games. So it's going to be crazy. Uh, can we get Fatoria? Nothing. Maybe. Maybe. I will surprise you all. I promise you that.
Uh, thank you to everyone who makes these maps. Thank you to everyone who's here today. Thank you for stopping by and the support. Uh, Scrooge with a thousand bits. This can I be in the video? T90 Woo, well, there you go. Uh, Jeff Yu is awesome as well. Six minutes to go with the sub. Thank you for the prime. Sweet stuff. Uh, here's the KD. Lisco did incredibly well not dying to uh, the boars. Great job. So, opinions on the map, guys. I thought for the first time, it was pretty interesting. Here's the eco stats. I mean, everyone got to play a part. Everyone got to imp and head army. It was just a struggle for some people. <coughs> Joe Manal. <coughs> Sorry, bug in my throat. Or a frog in my throat. <laughs> Get the T90 Kermits for the, the frog that's in my throat. <laughs> All right, uh, Yoshi, if you could return from the game, that'd be fantastic, and we'll set the next one up. Uh, Skirton, I, I pretty much just answered that question. Uh, there will be...